Hello everybody, here is Sasha and Victor. This is an uh, introductory video for superposition method. So I have my son Victor with me. He is going to do a brief interview. Okay. So can you please tell me a little bit about this course? Well, uh, the name of this course is Superposition Method for Solving Electrical Circuits. It is one of my courses that belong to Electrical Circuits uh, series. It is designed for electrical engineering uh, students to help them uh, primarily uh, with the Electrical Circuit Theory course. So, in short, what is Superposition Method? Well, it is one of the methods that is used to calculate voltages and currents in an uh, electrical circuit and uh, in that particular circuit we normally have multiple sources otherwise superposition method doesn't uh, uh, make sense so if we have a circuit and we have multiple sources in the circuit then we use a superposition method each source's contribution is found separately and then solution is obtained by adding up uh, individual components or the way we normally call it uh, we superimpose individual components. Okay. Have you developed this course by yourself or was that part of some group effort? Well, let me first say I am a lecturer at the University of South Australia and over the years as I've been uh, working with students I have noticed that some of the students uh, need extra help with the certain topics. So I decided to develop this course and I did it all by myself. And now you're actually helping me with, uh, with this interview, but the course itself is developed only by me. Okay. Can this course be studied by high school students or is it only for university students? Well, this course is primarily for university students. Um, it actually builds on knowledge students of electrical engineering learn in first year. And this course would normally help a second year university students or uh, uh, sophomores. So to answer your question, this course is not really appropriate for high school students. Is the topic of this course difficult to understand? It is actually a very simple method. So superposition method is uh, very easy to understand. However, that being said, the method itself can be applied both to DC circuits and AC circuits. And AC circuits are usually considered more difficult. So, you know, when students uh, have issues really with something, that's, that's usually AC circuit, not superposition method uh, itself. Is this course appropriate for all engineering students? Uh, probably not. Uh, this is primarily uh, designed for electrical engineering students. What will students learn in the superposition method course? Well, first they will learn how superposition works. They need to know how to analyze the circuit, also how to create sub-circuits, and then how to solve those sub-circuits in order to find individual components that they will eventually superimpose. So the students will also learn how to deal with uh, voltage sources and current sources. So which ones uh, do they need to keep and which ones do they need to what we call zero out. Now the practical part of this course will actually be more important to students and in this course I have uh, solved a number of problems and I have provided the detailed solutions for their problems so they can see what was my approach to solving those, uh, those problems and naturally I have solved all of those problems using superposition method. Are the solutions to practical problems provided in this course? Yes, that's exactly the, the case. So I uh, provided detailed step-by-step -step process of solving each individual problem. What kind of support can students expect to receive in this course? There are a couple of things here. One thing is the platform that students will use to, to basically study this course. So the platform is called Udemy and it's a, actually an amazing platform because it provides students not only ability to have captions of everything that is uh, talked about in the course, but they also have transcripts. They can uh, study this course on your laptop or you can use your tablet or, or even your mobile phone. And uh, the other thing is 
Uh, if you have any questions, if you're stuck with anything, you can always send me an email and uh, I will get back to you as soon as uh, possible. What if students are still not sure whether this is a good course for them? Well, that's not a problem at all because uh, there is a 100% satisfaction policy. So even if you are not sure whether this course is for you or not, you can still enroll. You have a whole month to, to try, to see. You can actually study the whole course. And at the end, if you decide that you know, it wasn't for you, you can ask your money back and you get the full, uh, full refund. So there is uh, zero risk. My uh, objective was that you're 100% happy with the material and uh, uh, I stand behind uh, all the work that I've done. Okay. That is awesome. Thank you for this interview. I appreciate your interest. Thank you very much too. Thank you for this interview. Okay. Bye.